Today is March 28th. I'm Paulo. I'm Foy. And we are blessed to have someone amazing in this garage today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not... In my life, far. in my life, this guy's a bit... I don't know how he just jumped into my life, bro. Just kind of happened. We've, We're kind of a package deal. It is a pleasure to have you here, my good friend, Eddie Pena. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, dynamite drop in there, man. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's all I got. Yeah, he's done. Take, <laughs> take his car keys. So Tommy's cousin came on last week. Oh. Jesus brother. Christ, Paulo. You, Tommy's wow. brother. Eddie's brother, Tommy, was yeah. on the show last week. Well, I'm just saying that he's Tommy's brother. Well, yeah, uh, well I, I I went out to say that Tommy's one of my favorite people. And, am I, gonna I, have to and I, it? I got jealous and I heard that. What hate hurt you the most last week? Was it the fake laugh? I, I don't know. It was the, all that. We might hear it today. I hope so. And maybe the nose comments and then. Well, you do have a beak. I know. I keep it's just pointing on the front of the mic. Well, see, Tommy it's not could, huge. Tommy could rest his and still yeah, get the this cup is in how between. The, Tommy was up on the. Remember I was telling you about the skills? Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Pretty funny. So we're plugged in. The light is on. Are you sure? Check the back before we go any. We're farther. doing pretty good. Follow. Check the back. It is. You can see the light. Yeah, but the light stays on even when you no. Thing. It, it fades slowly. It's a dimming light. Christ. All right. Well. But yes, I see it. I don't see it. I don't think the cord is right there. The cord is in, ladies and gentlemen. The cord is in. Mm-hmm. We should have no technical difficulties today. But Eddie Pena, let's get back to our boy. He's Love you. My, he's no, been, number been, nine. He's been my cousin. Yep, for the real number played nine. football with us at Santa Barbara City. He's, I, you know what I'm really, I, I, the biggest hate I've done to Eddie ever is when we started the podcast, we started our little social media, and I just put pictures of us up. <laughs> yeah, that and, was And, and there's a picture of three of us in our Santa Barbara City picture, oh, and I cut, Ed, I, I cut Eddie out. I got cropped out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the three of us where I'm the only one that's dirty. Eddie's hands were in the corn eating contest. I think he's a little bit in the video. Yeah. Yeah, he got, he's he got barely, cropped out of that. Out. My idea, too, by the way. And I got I cropped th- out. I'm of pretty that sure it was my idea. Hmm. You were just maybe like, oh, we have corn. <laughs> but I was definitely bringing up Fake the idea. Laugh about, number one. There it is. That it's <laughs> happened for real. This let's time. count. All right. That's a, I'm going to keep the a tally. Yep. One. Um, but yeah, one of my good friends. Yeah. Sure. It's pretty crazy. Like I've uh, when I came, I moved here, and sure. what? Well, I'm just saying. Like that's it's a, you two. Like I'm I'm in my whole, a whole life change to hang out with you guys. That's true. You didn't you, make you a did. big commitment change. You, you know? did, but it's paid off for you. I you know? Say. Yeah. So you I'm could excited. be up in the Bay Area. No, I love it down here. How long ago was that? Seven years, bro. I've been here like seven years. Oh, uh, but no, well, off you... and on since like oh four. Yeah, but this is like because yeah we. We played football at 2003. Who, who would have thunk four. it, bro? Well, I played three he and played, four. Yeah. Hey, who would have thunk it? Oh, I knew you were coming down here. Yeah, but like, you liked it too much down here. After all the nights you spent on Eddie's dad's couch. But and, still, like, it like it wasn't a trip for you guys. It made sense. No. It, it, it made, you know happen. what I mean? It was cool. Like, you were like, the guy the, that but if you th- like, But no, you think about people who've moved in their life and the, done stuff. Like, like the new Paulo guy? Just, Paul, yeah. He, we met him for a year. And then... You know, ten years later, he lives in our town. Yeah. Well, you were one of the guys that just kind of fit in. You know. Yeah, you were yeah. pretty much like a saint as kid already. Well, it, it yeah. was like you you were always there. It's pretty fun, and I, you know, it was just a. When, what was funny? What was Eddie driving when we met him? He had the little uh, the candy cane. Can uh, no, drive? I, I had the, the van. No, he had the van for a little bit when yeah, I first met you. I, it was the van. Yeah, we were. Dri- I was parking that. Was van. it an Astro van? Yeah, it was, it was the, the Astro it was van. The tan Astro van. <laughs> we were parking at the beach because I didn't want to pay the fifty dollar parking ticket. Yeah, we thing walked. Or whatever. Dude, I drove a, do- a caravan. I dodged. I had an all burgundy caravan. We used to drive everyone around. Really? Oh yeah. Where in we high school. Oh okay. In high school, like, oh, same thing. Though. Tito's or Patties? It was Patties. Was the the freaking foster caravan? Oh, okay. Everything burgundy. <laughs> I think it was in nineteen ninety. Nice, dude. But was that before she got her beamer? Caravans don't look the same. Yeah, no, it was after. It was before. Yes, before the beamer she got after. But yeah, what else did you drive, Eddie? Then you I had, had a, I had the well I had the candy cane the little yes. red and white Ford Ranger the blue wait the, we had the blue bomber yeah it was the beat up the beast dude the, yeah the beat up Ford I think it was a two hundred and fifty but what'd you drive before the Toyota what you drive right now I it was those three I had the I had oh the, it was then it was the yeah I had you, the because well, no I, I, I don't know that's why I was wondering I'm like there was was there one in between no, no it was yeah we had, it was the blue truck the candy cane and then I bought the Tacoma okay. And you've had that thing for what? It's an 07. So, so let's go down your lineup. You had the S10. 12 years. 
Wait, the, the, your S10? No. Oh, yeah. The, I've had the mic to come with since, yeah, it was seven. So 12 years. Jesus. Ago. Would you, would, uh, I met you with the S10. Uh, that was my first car. I bought that uh-huh. in high school. And then on my 18th birthday, I bought the Exploder. Yes. And I then, forgot about that. Yeah, the Exploder was awesome. Yeah, the, I stole that. It was the black one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that thing banged, dude. It had like the two <laughs> W zeros in the back. You know what was funny is uh we I borrowed your truck today with a, a coworker and he's like, This is Sean's rig? He's like, he's got a system in here, right? He seems like a guy who'd have a system. <laughs> uh, the Ford doesn't, but the S ten did. Dude, yeah, the S10, the, the, the S10 the in the back, I had, right? I had the S twelve in the back, dude. Dude, I, I would sit in the back and you would drive the pass, bro. Who and we would just listen to fucking pop punk music yeah. and air instrument everything. Who, who <laughs> everyone someone was like, look at we're at work and Sean was by himself and someone was like, Look at Sean, he's he's air he's doing air piano. <laughs> I, don't oh, I get down. Dude. He's like doing air piano oh, and he's like, <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter, dude. You should hear me when the Miley Cyrus song comes Oh, up. dude. Get my hands up. I do the butterfly too every time it comes on. <laughs> dude, I love who that was song. In the, who was in the back of the S10 when we watched that guy run the red light and slam into the car in front of us? What, laying in the bed of the truck. Was that Paulo or was that Bull? I didn't lay in the bed. But that'd be Bull then. It might have been Bull. He was still on the team back then. Before he got ran over at Ventura. <laughs> dude. <laughs> that was bad. Yeah, but good. I probably would have quit too. That guy absolutely murdered him. Well, when your head starts bleeding, you know you got ran over pretty good. <laughs> but he had a pretty—he was a pretty good receiver for us for being a uh, no calf, short shit from nowhere. He <laughs> caught balls Slow on a decent did. team. I know. I How could... many catch? What's your junior college stats? How many catches? Honestly, I don't even know. I just know. Is my it? One what, stat... He was about. He was. He was right about ten plus ten. Catches the season minus ten for sure. I got a reverse and then I stumbled and almost <laughs> ate shit in the back. I think I got like three yards and got killed by the middle linebacker. But the only thing I can say is I did catch one over Willie Poole, who went to so, Miami, wait. right? So how yeah, many catches then? I, I don't still know. want the stats. I really I'm gonna say know. he had like seven. Seven catches. How many? Uh, like three first downs. No, I I would probably say that. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> Your longest catch is like four yards. No first downs, Eddie. <laughs> you fucking liar. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't even know how I started. That's but what's the. <laughs> but YFL Andrew. champ quarterback two time. Oh, uh, two times Super Bowl. Won it eighth grade year. We lost seventh in seventh grade. Oh, so you won one, lost one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're the first number ten in years. YFL, number nine in high school, nine, number, number eighty in. I. But you were. I you know what was cool about us when we were junior 12. college? I think it was twelve. You were no, eighty five. You were thirty five, and I was fifty five. And I just like that we all finished in a five. Oh yeah, I didn't even fucking think of that. Matt Nunn. The guy right before me took my number. Oh, dude, I, was, I told you the same thing. The, uh, who's this? Our center. Chuck? No, the oh, white no. The Mexican he, guy. No, no it was oh, a, Ronnie. 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 Yeah. Uh, Garcia? Something. It was a Mexican guy. Dude from he, he played at Santa Barbara. He, played, he was dude. like 30. Dude. Was he? And he was old. a captain, and I'm like right in line. I'm like, oh, dude, it's money. Yeah. yeah. No, one's, I'm, I'm looking at the guys. I'm like, oh, starting. I, sh- I didn't know he was. He didn't look like a center, but he, he was like, like oh, starter. 56. That's mine. I was like, what? He goes, yeah. Re- it was like by rules, returning starter. Uh, and I was like, what the fuck? Stand there, Paul. Yeah. I'm, oh, we're taking a picture. Oh, you got a text. Oh, uh, 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 and there it is. Yeah. Santa Barbara City. Okay. Longest play in high school. Was that your touchdown? His one touchdown? Yeah, my well, yeah, that was my longest. Thank so, you, Josh Kinnear. Thank you. Well, well, yeah, thanks, Kinnear. Give me the route. Uh I think it was everybody go left and I snuck in and went right. How I forget I don't remember. How the many play. cracks did you get in your senior year? I'm gonna say one. I had one. Was really, that it? I had he one really good. Off. Yeah, I had one really good one. And then he, he, Eddie fell down, and the guy trucked him in the back. <laughs> yeah. Most embarrassing play. Most embarrassing. You didn't get embarrassed play? too much, huh? Oh, when you tackled me, I'm gonna say when you tackled me because you were coming in to block somebody, and you tackled me. Well, Eddie. no, I think most embarrassing play was when you scored that long touchdown, and I tried to get you to pitch it to me so oh, I, I could score a touchdown. <laughs> 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 it didn't work. He didn't give it. That's anything. so funny. Yeah, as I'm dragging like two guys, and he's like, "Pitch me the ball! Pitch was, me the ball!" Wasn't that Cabrillo? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because I hadn't scored a touchdown all season yet, so I was like, "I got to get one somehow." Yeah, because Pedersen didn't pitch you the hook and ladder yeah. at Paso. That fucking asshole, dude. You're hilarious. Oh, man. Fucking YFL. I know. It's so long ago. Yep. Well, hey, today we are drinking a actually a pretty fine bourbon, uh, tin cup. Sean came from a golf tournament. Where'd you go? You were in Emmett. Hemet. Hemet. I think it's a silent H. I've heard people from there. Emmet. 
It is Emmett. Or is that <laughs> another place? There's an, is there another place called Emmett? I, I, I don't Sean, know. I've only heard is of there another? There, isn't there another place called Emmett? Emmett. Is there not, M- not it, this is, fucking state? But where is it then? Uh, it? If if there was ever a place called Emmett, I would say fucking Texas. Okay, but so I'm pretty sure it's Silent H now, <laughs> no, that, because that's what I was wondering. If the, I there's people I know, I know a couple, a lesbian couple I know that I grew up with. My aunt's best friends, Dusty and Michelle. Dusty okay. Bottoms, dude, Dusty gangster, both of them. Bottoms. They moved to Emmett, and I was like, "Where's Emmett?" And dude. It's, I think that's how they say it. It's a well, edge. that's their problem. Because ah. Anyways, it's Hemet. It's okay. Down by <laughs> All right. San, San Hard Jacinto. H. All right. How'd you do? You how'd you do in the game? Oh, uh, it was. We had fucking a couple of groups ahead of us that were just. How was it? How was it how, so how was it drinking? Let's not, not talk about the golf. Let's All talk right, about so the cocktails. Were, were were not good because they uh, golf tournament. This is golf and tournament instructions too from Sean. Give them to me. So the cocktails were like poured in a shot glass with a teeny mixer, and it was. Would they use little mini bottles? No, they use big bottles, but they pour you a drink in a fucking shot glass, and I'm all, dude, I want a cocktail. I don't want this shit. Oh, and then. Um, a lot of beer, and I don't drink beer. The food was on point, though. I had some good uh, street tacos. They had multiple taco. What vendors. hole? What when do they? Every, yeah, was it, was it every like hole. every other hole? Like food every hole. Oh, oh every hole. Food moves every hole. Nice. Oh man. Via beer or what? Why can't we get you to drink a beer? Because I fucking hate beer. That mad? It that t- much? It tastes like shit. It's, like when do you have beer? Uh, I drink. I like beer. Yeah, but dude, so I don't spend seventy dollars on beer. I was so. Have you heard of Russian Rivers Pliny the Elder? Never heard of it. This shit is. Have you? It's the truth. Russian River. It's in Northern California, and they make make this beer once a year. That's the uh, name of it. Pliny the Elder. Pliny the Elder. They have a Pliny the Younger as well, and I've had it like two or three times. But I've been there. San Francisco Beer Week at the Tornado, which is a legendary beer spot. If you ever, it's up on Upper Haight. Upper Haight. Upper Haight in San Francisco. Is the H Uh, silent on that one too? No, but the AI is or G eight. There's a G G in that one. Like, yeah, wow. it's crazy. Anywho, but yeah, no, and it comes and so they had some at the El Rancho supermarket here in San Ynez, oh. and it was by the case, it's seventy bucks, and you could only allow one case, and That's so I was like, pretty much monopolizing the market. Oh, dude. It's but Did you it, have your wife come back and get I one? almost bought it. I didn't buy it. I told her though. Oh, and I would be I like, if say, I bought that, that though, at? if I bought that. Would you drink it? Fuck no. Come on. I've seen him drink one beer at the Maverick once, and that's because I think it was <laughs> How much Sean. did you hate it? Uh, no, I remember he, he bought me a Bud Light, and we're standing out yeah. on the porch, and I'm like, dude, I don't want this. He's like, fucking drink it. Don't be a pussy. And I'm like, dude, I won't drink this. And he hits the top of my bottle oh, with, with his beer, yeah. and it starts foaming, and I just sit there and let it go. He's like, what are you doing? I'm all set. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking drink this. I hate this shit. Here. And so finally, after he argued with me a little bit, he took the beer. He's like, I'm I'm like, dude, I don't drink. Oh, I thought you did drink it. No, no. The last time you saw me drink a beer, it was me, you, Tony and Dooners at a golf tournament at the village. Were you super hot? No, we had a putting contest because it was so slow. We had like an 80 foot putt. Whoever got the closest, everybody else had to drink. Okay. Eddie stepped up. First putt fucking drained it. Everybody had a pound of beer and I pounded a beer. He has no. He has I don't no remember that at all. The dead face right now. It's fucking looking into the dead. Sean's lights. been dwelling on that moment for years. <laughs> Eighty foot putt, Dang. dude. It was fucking <laughs> draining. Just Eddie's kind of a one hitter like quitter. When it comes oh yeah, to golf. he'll he'll be complete shit. Then come up with one shot. Hey, you need that one shot. I got it. So Eddie. This stuff is pretty good now that. Oh, the tin cup. I think it's you know. So yeah, let's get back but, to the tin cup. I love the name today. Kind of reminds me of the Kevin Costner movie. It was a pretty good movie, Tin Cup. Yeah, that's one of my favorite sports movies. Great movie. All right, so Tin Cup, America Whiskey. This Hits was, you in the face like a champion. So this was uh, given to us by our good lad. This is number four? For Tony? I think. Well, let's see. Muzzle flash. Oh, boy. Ooh, that takes let's, us into a whole other topic, which we won't get to yet. Not yet. Oh, let's boy. Let's finish talking about the Tin yes. Cup. He gave us the muzzle hat flash, the big horn. He uh, got us something from we, Texas, which was are they all up there? the. Uh, it was a. It was a name. Oh shit, McArd, no. Um, it was good. That it was, was really good. It was really Garrison's good. Or... I'm gonna have to. We have to. The text. Text Brent. He's asleep, dude. I know, it's but just, dude, that guy is up. But yeah. What's the? What are the? What are the? 
Are those the ones you guys drink on the show? No, those yeah. are the leftovers those right now. The, those are the remnants. So like, we'll, we'll be pouring more. Most, yeah, it was Garrett Brothers or something. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. It was delicious. Deli- it was scrumptulescent. Dude. Um, and we bought a bottle back from Texas. So that's uh, number... Redneck that Riviera. was three, and now so number no, four. Redneck Riviera was after that. You bought that, though. No, Tony bought it. Oh, five we then. Together. So it's five. So Tony had this, and he's like, I got a new whiskey for you guys. And I said, oh, well. so I went by before I picked Eddie up today. I'm like, oh, good. We'll use it for the show tonight. And it's perfect. Let's uh, let's let's talk about it a little bit. Tin cup whiskey comes in a great bottle. It's yeah. in a six sided shape, and I'm gonna say it's a septagon. It looks like it would belong like on a old school barber's. What is the name of a six sided shape? It's not I a think, pentagon. I think it's not a rhombus. Right. I think you're right. What? Sept or sex? Septa, sept, uh, septagon. It's no? a septagon, right? No. Sexagon. No. What's a what? rhombus? A rhombus is it's a, a quadrilateral. It's, it's quadrilateral. a force. It's a four. I, I just like that. Parallelogram. Rhombus. <laughs> parallelogram is parallel. two para- right. parallel. Right. Okay. Lines. So those are rhombus sh- is not parallel. Okay. Let's go. So you got square, pentagon, six sided die. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. Okay. I thought you guys didn't. Oh, use Google. this is a dude. We need freaking short. Is Indy five hundred starting coming soon? Is what the Indy five hundred? Oh fuck! I don't know. We I need we, we need to get freaking no Scotty. Oh, get, we'll have Scotty. Yeah, you, come back. we gotta have Scotty come back. Oh no, crew chief, crew chief. Oh, that's what dude. we call him. Crew short chief. track, short track, short track. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Um, no, it comes in this cool bottle. It's got its own like brand on it. It's pretty sweet. Came with a shot glass on top. It too, comes right? with a tin shot glass on top. Uh, it's hexagon. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bullshit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you want me to get go down the list? Sure, Paul. Enlighten us. Oh. Penta, hexa, septa, oxa, none. <laughs> Ninogram. <laughs> I'm typing in here. All right. Okay. I, well, you see, they switch it up. Square, pentagon, hexagon. I think seven is septagon. Hold on. Decepticon? There's a decagon. That's for, 10, obviously. Heptagon. Heptagon. Seven. Yes, uh, let's think about the shape of a trap. What's a trapezoid? That's this one. Parallelogram. Irregular polygon. Dude, fun math skills from elementary school, huh? Like high school for Eddie. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> How many times do you take math, B? <laughs> yeah, you go. So let's get into uh, <laughs> Eddie. Let's get. Let's see. So we're, no, March we, Madness. We're, no, we're oh, we're still about, talking tin we're, cup. We okay. haven't even gotten over tin cup. It's pretty good, though. Jesus Christ. God Paul, damn it. You're killing me today. But the tin cup. I'm fucking carrying you again. Carrying? Pre-game bolerolios are... Whoa. Not working out. Take oh, it easy. Oh, I, I was like, what the hell is that? I yeah, know. I got it. Anyways, the tin cup's money, though. I like the the taste it's of it. Great start. Great start, but to be great... You need to finish. We, it, it needs to finish well, and it kind of just... Let's me it, down it, at it, the it end. bitters out. It let, lets me down at the it end. It bitters out, but if it had a if it had a bite to it, it has a, end, it smells like a champion. Yeah, it's it's a, it's only eighty four proof, so I think that's where we lose it because okay. most of the good ones we've all had are ninety plus. Wow, this that's that's uh, surprising. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty tasty. It, I don't like old I, fashions, I don't but this is pretty good. It, it's 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 all right. I know. What do you drink on the regular, Eddie? Uh, wine. I don't get bloated from it. And I don't get hangover. You, well, so what happened then? So it's not the wine. What are you blaming? Oh, being, get bloated. Oh, uh, everything. <laughs> all, Life after thirty. All you can eat Taco Bell. Yep. Oh my gosh! Right, do you so, hear that five dollar box? Hey, just kidding. Do you remember when Taco Bell was like the cheapest thing around? It still is to bullshit. Me. I haven't is. been to Taco Bell in forever. You know how much it expen- costs for a fucking taco now? It's a dollar twenty nine a taco. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you remember when it was like sixty eight cents? It was like fifty nine yeah. cents. Yeah. Bullshit. Some total bullshit. Like the dollar menu is gone. Like they the, still have it, but it's not. Like it's like just not tacos. a dollar. The items are on there. It's like a cheese roll up with like one mm-hmm. piece of string of cheese. Yeah, it's like one piece of American fucking commodity cheese. And they just roll up a little small ass tortilla. Oh, it's terrible. I used to get. I used to love the cinnamon twists. Yeah. Well, the new this the new box has them in it, so that's oh, what I used to go with. See, <laughs> but I, they I, got like nacho fries now, and they got the like rattlesnake, rattlesnake fries. See, I go with the Sean Foy meal. At, oh, what's uh, the Sean? Fo- what's what? What does Sean Foy order at Taco Bell? Uh, it's a. I always get this. It's gonna be a it's burrito. It's gonna be crunchy. Tacos, no sauce. Crunchy tacos. No. With no, no tomatoes. Lettuce. Yeah. No lettuce. No veg. Just meat and cheese. No, I go three <laughs> crunchy tacos. 
Okay. Normal. With lettuce? Uh, yeah. That's one now. Of the, that's one of the... No, I've always it, done that. Okay. Except wow. when I was young. No, you never used to get lettuce. I, 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 I beg to growing differ. Growing up, high school. From high school okay. on, I always get lettuce in my Taco Bell. Are you a sauce guy? Uh, I don't mind mild, but I'm okay with no sauce for the tacos. Which ones? They got rid of some sauces, right? Is it they, hot or fire? They still have that fiery one, or I think that's the name. Of it. Like the, I like really the, mi- dark the mild sauce one. is good. Yeah, so, that's all I go with. I can't okay. handle spicy. So I get the three crunchy tacos, then I go two bean burritos, extra cheese, no onions. Because sometimes they put fucking onions in there, and it's terrible. Oh, dude. And then if I'm feeling frisky, I'll throw a double decker on top. <laughs> just a little bit, Paul. Just a little bit. Yep. Little taster. That's good. He's not even oh done yet. Gosh. I have to drive back to Lompoc. You just, and I have one headlight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're an idiot. Just don't try Wait, to what? What song is one headlight? Uh, uh, Wallflowers. Would, yeah, Bob Dylan's good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Jacob Dylan. Jacob Dylan. So that that's what I get, but I don't go to Taco Bell all that much because that meal used to be under six bucks. I get like quesaritos and I get seven layer burritos. Mm. If and I'm feeling they're really grilled stuffed, but they seem like even smaller now. Like they used to be yeah. pretty big size, but they're, now they're getting really uh, stingy on the portions. Portions. Prices going up. And I'll tell you, the last time I, down. you know what I'm stoked on is the last time I get fast food. It's like I've been getting like Chick fil A, Chick fil A, Chick a fil, Chick a fil. I, I was thinking about it because you I didn't want to mess it up and Chick-fil-A I messed it up. Oh yeah, so good. It took me a second, dude. You know dude, what's it's good? such a legit fast food it's joint. So good. Chester's chicken. Chester's isn't. Oh, that's where we I, I, we had Chester's. Those chicken biscuits were fucking awesome. Dude. Where did you guys get that at? Uh, where were you in New Mexico? Tuman Carey, New Mexico. Oh, uh, because I, I keep seeing commercials for them, Dude, but I'm like, so where did it's that legit, at? bro. Paulo spent like and forty dollars on chicken in a gas station. No, he came out with a. It wasn't piece. forty dollars. I bought like six, four. Me no, and Tony. Tony, sp- Tony gave you money to buy chicken. Yeah, biscuit. He's. I I bought two biscuits and I bought like four pieces of ch- uh, four chicken strips no, or six. Like it was six. No, it wasn't. Because it was only for I me and Tony. And Paulo ate 10. No. Sean, you want anything? No. Tony, you want anything? Yeah, give me some chicken. Some biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he? What is he, Spanish? <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> hey, Paulo, what's going on? I want some chicken and biscuits. That's oh. Italian. Whatever. He's one of those Tonys. <laughs> okay. And then, Sean, no, I absolutely don't want one. Because I didn't want to have to shit. We get in the, the fucking car. We get in the car. That's Sean true. catches a whiff. Boom. It smelled so good. And I'm like, I'll just try one. And I'm like, oh, I'll sample one of these biscuits. So I put the chicken strip on the biscuit. It yeah. was fucking delicious. Really? Oh. And we had to get out of Tomb and Carry because, dude, there was a storm coming. And they shut that part of the Dude, we were down. at we were zero stuck. degrees. It was the coldest I think I've been in. Oh, this is you guys' crane hunt? Yeah, this yeah. was in uh, early December. It was good times. Okay, what chickens, what chickens better, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's? Oh, or KFC. No, Popeye's is out. I had Popeye's a couple Popeyes, times. Let me down. Dude, Popeye's makes me sick. It, really? It, yeah, it's not good. Hmm. At least the uh, one. Have you Church's chicken? Have you had Church's? Church's no. is good. Have you had Roscoe's? Never had Roscoe's. Cause see, I won't R- go. Roscoe's to, is good. Cause I don't do. I mean, they have a, they have a lot of restaurants now, so you can find one that's not. But is it? It's all chicken and waffles, right? No, I but, think that's just their special. Dude, their food. sides are really good too. That's where I I was like I like how you could order the other stuff. See. Because it's small and it's cheap. The one thing I like about Popeye's is their biscuits. Sometimes they're way too mm-hmm. fucking salty, but their biscuits are good. Now I was uh, last week. I went to part of. I went to Chinatown in L.A. and you told me about the chicken place, and I just saw it on Vice. Howlin' Rays. Howlin' Rays. That dude. Do, would you do next year? Do we do our taxes together and just so no, we can I'm get Howlin' Rays? To do, do just taxes. no, no, no. But we're gonna do them, and then we'll do Howlin' Rays. I don't want to go down there for you to do your taxes. We then can go you, down. How about we just go there for the chicken? How about we just go there for the chicken? Okay, that's that's dude, what I'm saying. This place is supposed to be dude, fucking legit. Before the restaurant opens, it's all around the fucking corner. Yeah. And like it's an like, hour long already. It's like first come for service. It's like Tito's Tacos. You know where oh, they line up for Tito's? Oh, yeah. But it's not even better. first come for service. Like they just hurry up and kick out. Wow. I forget. They have like, because they know there's a line. They have like stuff you could have while you're in line, oh, or stuff like it's weird. But they 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 like accommodate. Like, does somebody like a work? I don't even know. I, I uh, saw it and I was just like, I got to get past this. This is way too insane. I thought like, hey, maybe we like, could, maybe I could put a lease in line, do my taxes, and get back down there because it was a serious line. It was like, yeah, Paul said it was like two blocks. Jesus, it was, and it was. I asked people, I'm like, if I get in line right now, I saw I saw some guys walk out, and we were upstairs but above it. And some guys had a bag of it, and you you don't buy a little bit. You have to. These like, people are big. buying like there was a whole. I think they were like Vietnamese family ready to do their taxes, and they just put the chicken in the middle. And it, I saw a guy buy a chicken for like ten people, and they just went to town. <laughs> Dude, you know how certain 
races just murder chicken bones. <laughs> and I'm going to have to say Americans are probably the weakest. But certain countries, <laughs> clean it, dude. You could have made neck, like uh, voodoo necklaces oh, with this shit, God. bro. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't clean the bone. Like, oh, on, you got to get legs. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't, have I you don't ha- eat wing. I don't which like old wing. person in your family used to like suck the bones dry? Anyone ever do that in your family? I would say my mom's dad, so my grandpa. Mm-hmm. He would, big Al. Yeah, big but, Al. But, but everyone has that person in your family almost most of the time. You yeah, know, it was gross just, watching them eat. Yeah, I can't. Do <laughs> but that. No, that, and then they, Helen Race also has that super, probably the hottest chicken, ever. Because the people from even the hot ones, the they do, they like have the super hot ch- chicken wing challenge yeah. they do on the yeah. That guy eats hot sauce all the time. And a spicy chicken. He went to Helen Ray's and and it fucking kicked his ass. Really? Yes. It's it's legit. And you have to sign a waiver and shit. Really? You have to sign a waiver, even for like regular spicy. You like the, you have regular, which is already like good. They yeah. say, and then they say you have that spicy and it just fucking it kills you. Like be, you better sack up. They yeah. say it's good though. Like if you into spicy, it's cool. But like you better don't come don't come into spice. it like I haven't I haven't eaten nothing spicy in the last six months. You're fucked. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd take one bite and be like, it burns! But yeah, yeah, food <laughs> pilgrimage to Helen Race. We should do that for sure. Have you well, have you ever done a food pilgrimage? Like, what was the furthest you went for food? Uh, Thousand Oaks, I'd go to Claim Jumper. Oh, I love Claim Jumper. It's no longer there. It's not? They have a Lassen's fucking health food store. No. Right That's a next bummer. to P.F. Chang's <laughs> and some place we ate today, Umami Burger. How was that? Uh, overrated. Japanese hamburgers? No, it, that's just the name of it. They had some funky shit on the li- on the menu, but it was okay. Nothing. What'd you get? Bacon, uh, cheddar. Yeah. What no- it? Nothing. Boom. It's called it's called the manly burger. But they there's put, certain- like grill like grilled onion strips. What? Yeah, but you and Veronica went to Bakersfield. On your honey or wedding night to go to Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic is been, not that good. No, we'd never been before. And we, I, oh, I've yeah. never had it. I The other stuff, like their, their drink selections are in, like, go there for a drink. Go there for. Yeah, we got it. We got a. But it's not a tasty it's, meal. It's not that great. It's I mean, like it's, how you order. It's parking and eating. That's what you're getting you on. Like, it's the, the idea of it. And yeah. 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 The idea of it is. Exactly. <laughs> the idea uh, of it is. But. Uh, probably claim jumper or to Napomo. I'll go to Jocko's. Okay, because Jocko's is the truth. Yum yum. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying. Forever. Yeah, but no, there's a. Have I ever waited in line for food? No, I done it for beer. Tito's but. Tacos. I've waited in line for Tito's Tacos, but that was because we were there for a passing league <laughs> tournament and I was starving. Right. Tito's Tacos is okay. It's not great. Best taco in the valley. Dos Carlitos. Those, oh, I know. I don't, like, I don't like those curly. My, t- my tacos al pastor. Do, is that does that be Taco Tuesday at Taco Roco ninety nine cents a taco? Yeah, because the fucking tacos they get just like okay, two bites. but you're spending a dollar. Yeah, I have I could get, get I could get, get, get like every I could get every flavor. Is there no all you can eat tacos in, on Tuesday in the valley? Mm. Mm. We got a burrito loco in Lompo. You want to know some shit? So it's I, I borrowed amazing. your truck on Tuesday. You what? I borrowed your truck on Tuesday. Yeah, you weren't hitting my switches, were you? No. That's why, that, that's why the first one was up. <laughs> no, but I did roll the seat back. <laughs> I know I had to adjust it. Anyway, so I, fin- I finished picking up some furniture. I had a buddy with me that helped me out, and I was like, hey, I'm going to buy you tacos on a Tuesday. All right, I'm in Sean's truck. We're coming out of Montecito. I'm like, hey, there's this place, Super Rica, right? That's where, like, Julia Child's favorite taco restaurant is in Santa Barbara. Uh, you know, East Beach Tacos, which I just had, $3 for 10 do- I mean, three tacos for $10. Super good. And we drive down, and I was, he's like, hey, let's go to Super Rica. I say, okay. We passed uh, Los Arroyos. They have one in Solvang. It's okay. We didn't go there. We passed it up. So we get to Super Rica. He looks it up on his phone. Closed on a Tuesday. What? Mexican joint. Taco Tuesday is dead there. So I go to East Beach Taco. It's fucking packed. It's the batting cage one. Have you seen that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Right by yeah. East yeah. Beach. Right it's, fu- ha- oh. it's fucking awesome. There's like, batting cages by East Beach? Yes. Right by the Habit. Yeah. Uh, that so that the, the batting really, cages is East, right next it is the same business now. It's called Wait. it's right like East Beach. Is, they share a wall. They share a parking lot. Well, almost. no, I understand that, but isn't East Beach farther down Cabrillo? I'm, I'm sure they just it's using right it there. For the name because it's yeah. popular. Whatever. Yeah, you get off on Milton. the line was too big, and we already did some serious work. We don't go there, and I'm like, hey, there's a place I know, Lily's Tacos. Um, she just went to Chicken Ranch. We, Ooh, Chicken Ranch is good. Combo 
Yeah. Combo burrito. Chicken okay, plate. that's a good call. Chicken plate. I think Tony yeah. just told me that too, and yeah, I should have. Never been. To chicken I've been to Chicken Ranch. Oh, yeah, okay. a couple times. No, I. Their I've, sauce I've, is not good, but their <laughs> burritos. Their there. food's really good. But anyways, they do like three things. Lily's tacos closed on a Tuesday. What the fuck? That's what I said. Ta- on a, it's like your goddamn Santa fucking holiday. Nose. You have yeah. a weekly holiday. You don't have fucking taco. <laughs> two Mexican joints closed on a Tuesday. So where'd you go for tacos? We ended up Did driving up the pass, and I got a tri tip at um, what's Springs? It? Yep. Got a beer, a, a beer and a tri tip. I was like, let's get a beer and a tri tip at Cold Springs during the week. They, I didn't. I the restaurant. Only, the oh, restaurant. Th- okay, it was cool. It was cool to have it. It's like, is it fresh off the grill? Probably not. They probably just have it like Sitting in the yeah. rare, medium rare and then they just pan toast it. But yeah. it was good. Like it, it was pretty good. So heat it up and just kill it. What's the best tri tip in the valley? Best tri tip in the valley? What's the best? Yeah. Other than a. Ho- I don't think anybody does a good tri tip unless it's homemade. The restaurants. What about well, like Tom's? Oh. Is, is, how's Tom's tri tip? He's like a big guy on here and he and he is the, the guy who cooks at Cold Springs, right? Yeah. I think so it's yeah, on the weekends, tip. yeah. It's okay. I mean, it's not the best I've ever had, but it's good. This is the best a home a home barbecue? Yeah. Try tip. Totally, because you get to do it how you like it. Yeah. So yeah. You cook it how you want it. You, pull it off you don't cook try tip very much though, huh, Sean? No, I don't need to because I go to Eddie's dad's. Yeah, it's like it's, yeah. I was gonna say my dad. How is, many try tips do you think he's cooked in his life? Oh, Would you say fuck. half a million? No. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a little too much. Okay, let's say, say let's say a hundred thousand. Ten thousand. That's probably pretty reasonable. Ten thousand. Because they used to do catering a long time ago. Yeah, like if you, that's insane. How that many? Si- a low ball how many button. sixty tri tip dinners has he cooked in in his life? You know what I mean? Many. Yeah. No, I know. We've had to help a lot. Yeah. Tell yeah, we get, we get sucked into serving people and like yeah, that's terrible. Good Everybody's stuff. enjoying cocktails and we're sitting there running around cooking tri tip. <laughs> Except for the what was the guy's name? Les Les Freeman. That was fun. That was fun. as soon as we got done cooking, it was a huge party. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I think we oh, we had a learner's permit. We were sneaking drinks. It was awesome. <laughs> I mean, we didn't do that. You guys of are fucking hilarious. <laughs> you guys <laughs> are pretty much best friends, though, right? Well, Growing up, totally, still are. Oh my goodness! Look at him. That, that was Look a big that smile. smile. We don't see you very it's, often. I know. He's married, got a new baby, lives in Lompoc. How's Lompoc life? It's okay. It's not as bad as everyone claims it is but it's still lump oak homeless sucks yeah since i'm a garbologist, you live really close to work though yeah i got like a five minute commute but uh, yeah being a garbologist i like i you're yeah. garbage man yeah that's good work though <laughs> yeah it's 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 awesome it works out great it's great hours mm-hmm. i actually Steady get weekends job. off and holidays off paid weekend or paid holidays get, oh, yeah it's great retirement what holidays do you decide to work uh, thanksgiving well, morning no, we get we don't have to work Thanksgiving, but we work the next day and then Saturday. So it kind of sucks that we get the holidays off, but then we have to make up for it on Saturday. Uh, but that's the time and a half because the trash still has right, to and then yeah. you get time and a half. Yeah, so so I get paid that like say Who, holiday, yeah on Monday. Monday and it's and it's hard paid. to work. You probably burn off all that gravy. Gravy, yeah, from Thanksgiving. Oh no, he sits in the fucking truck all day. Yeah, so dude, I've already, oh, I put on like twenty pounds, I think, since I started working. Oh, there. you just drive. How hours. many how many kids like do you wave to? Oh, the kids love the garbage truck. Dude, like, drive I, by like the schools and they all run out to the fences and like wave. And I punish Lincoln by like, I'm like, you hear it? He just hit his little brother. He's like, you hear it? He's like, fire truck. I'm like, yeah, you don't get to see because you hit your brother and I carried him. <laughs> and I was like, that's what you get. Because Lincoln loves to touch trucks. Yeah. You were going to monster trucks next week. Wasn't there a touch of truck last weekend or two weekends ago? No, yeah. it was rained out, wasn't it? It was rained on, but it was also Lincoln's birthday party. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We all partied inside. Yeah. That great, was a lot of fun. Actually. Great job, Paulo. Yeah, I I was ruining kids on the wrestling mat. Dude, you guys were the biggest kids on the fucking it was, mat. It was a lot of fun. When, yeah, like if you two at parties are imbeciles, yeah. like you got you guys become five year olds. Well, it's and I'm not kids. any party. Well, any party. Kid, well, it was a kid's party. That was a kid party. I could I, I expected it. I yeah, expected you can't it's just not, put like a mat out. With I, a bunch every, of everyone and... everyone thinks like, oh, Paulo got a mat room, so the kids will be protected from themselves. No, they're protected from Sean and Eddie. <laughs> Well, Grayson kept trying to take me down. I had to, I had to protect I, did, myself. Did I, did, did I really tackle Lincoln that hard today? Oh. No, you just scared him. Yeah. Right? I know. I, I, hey, you shot the hips really fast. It was impressive. <laughs> yeah, it was quick. You I'm cradled his head. Was it oh, yeah. Twitch muscles? Yeah. He wasn't ready for that one. I made him cry. I'm, yeah. Eddie's face, though, then, was like, I can't believe he just did that to his kid. <laughs> and then as he gets up, because he's naked, of course, because Lincoln runs around naked all yeah, the time. Yeah, he does. He drags his dit and balls across your face and he gets <laughs> yeah, up. Dude, I'll be sleeping, he'll be butt naked, and he'll just, like, crawl up my face and then, like, sit on my ear. 
it's, no way. Oh, dude. He's so fucked up. He'll be like, Paw Patrol. I'm like, get the fuck off me, dude. <laughs> uh, I love this because this is just us hanging out, dude. And I haven't talked to you. We haven't done this in a minute. Mm-hmm. Dude, this is like we played Canasta till like three in the morning. Oh, dude. You know, we we've done, we've camped out. We've got hammered. You know, we've done a lot. We've done a lot. You know, the crawly trips, the fucking. I know. I was looking at the fishing poles. I was like, Eddie's a pretty good angler. This, oh, the old, this my, one is your dad's. Old, yeah, this is the one we used to use for the ocean. This has caught a lot of fish. That's the ocean rod. And then they got the ugly stick. I think everybody's got an ugly stick. You yeah. have to have an ugly stick. I'm gonna buy like three fishing poles. I'm getting the whole family set up this week. Lincoln's gonna get like the Spider Man. Are you gonna do the fishing tournament? The you derby? Want? No. Yeah. I, I go before and try to pooch them all. Yeah. Do it right when they plant. I haven't been to the fishing derby since '98. Yeah, I got screwed out of first place. That's Two of the a... biggest fish I've caught in my life, I caught back to back. Why is the handle on the wrong side? I'm back. I always have it backwards. Really? Yeah. You didn't. Re- you don't remember that? No, I was too busy catching fish. Sorry. Are you, dude? He's Eddie is. A, I don't know how he is he's at like hunting because I don't think player. he's pulled the trigger in a long time. Uh, he, he, I, he I, like I, when was the last time you've gone hunting? Oh, I I went last couple of months ago. No big Senior deal. year. Has it been that long? Mendota, last day of the season. Last time. Are no. you shitting me? No. We you killed those. T- we went pig hunting. Me and you went pig hunting up in. Uh, oh, yeah. That was for. How old were we? 21? We're, no, 22. What, were you on an island or something? No. It was It was out towards 400 Liggett. It was it, outside of Paso. It was Who so, got a pig? It was so lame, though. Like, Who got the pig? We both, we both did. Killed it was like a canned hunt. We walked like 10 It, it was easy. They were, easy. Everything was fenced off so like they quit they ran into the corner of the fence and i was like they want us to shoot these right now i'm like this is ridiculous like oh you worked them all the way to the fence uh, they're like well it's getting kind of late just so you shoot one that was stupid yeah but it was paid for so i didn't care oh, okay how much does a pig hunt cost i don't know 800 bucks i don't I know pay, i wouldn't pay that much for a pig hunt no i'd like to get to know somebody that on a winery so we can go hunt out there whenever we want to shoot pigs for free You'd be doing them a favor. That's yeah. right. All right, so let's get back on track. Okay. Yeah, hey, so whose bracket's looking amazing? No, 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 no. Nope. Yet. We're still not there yet, Paula. <laughs> oh, shit. We just got done talking about Tim Cup, then we took a stroll down memory lane. Okay. It's muzzle flash time. Okay, Sean. It is the rite of passage of every new guest to come on the show and take a pull of muzzle flash. I know, I keep hearing them about this. Now, Tommy took it like a champ. Chris, no, nobody took it like... Scott McClurg. Scotty McClurg. Even Chris took it pretty good. Yeah, but he, you did, you had to see Chris's face. Yeah, like he could beat one out, but his face was like, "Dude, yeah. what the fuck did you guys just give me?" So it's customary to waft, yeah, and then take a good pull. Wafting. Yes, he's smelling. Oh, oh though, that, what is this drinkable? Yeah, you could ingest it. Yeah, yeah it bottoms up. Yep, have fun. Okay, he's pulling it. Bubbles through the bottle. Oh, big gulp. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a dead seal's asshole. Oh. Dead seal's asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. Negative. No, like you I heard about it in the episodes, but oh, my God, that's terrible. It's, it's even worse. Dude, you person. took a solid swig, though. Yes. I'll give that to you. I was, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. God. Here, take it. Watch it I just washed it down with that. <laughs> yeah. That you want more? Do you want some tin cup to wash down the? I might need a little bit more tin dude, cup. Dude, actually, tin, This is how you become a whiskey drinker. Just you a like, little. You take something that freaking just blow your mouth out, and yeah. then oh. you like everything else tastes God, so much I still better. Taste it. It's so bad, dude. I don't give a shit what anybody says. It's fucking terrible. So yeah, yep. that's the muzzle flash challenge. Oh, I'm holding cool. my whistle. Hey, it is officially a part of this show <laughs> forever. I know. Thanks for having me. This is fun. Yeah, yeah, talking into a mic to two guys that you've known for most of your life. It's pretty easy. Pretty fun. It just kind of rolls off the tongue. So now, Paulo. Okay. We can segue into actual. Sports so topic. Paulo hasn't done a bracket. We went over that last episode. That's right. You didn't do. I a didn't bracket. do a bracket. Yeah, I got help with that. Dude, the backyards have things are happening. Bullshit. The back. I'm working back overtime. I'm I just. You're just a lazy fuck. This is the first time in a long time. I know, you know what? It's fun watching the tournament, not like... You set up a league last year. I do it for years, I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know. Life. It was Lincoln's layups. Yeah. That was the last couple of ones. And then, I was it anything primetime? I could have done some primetime. Uh, who cares? Yeah. Lincoln's layups. Yeah, that's the one I remember. Mm-hmm. So, so, college basketball. Any games. Like, what's... Yeah. You know what? I'm just hating some of these games. It's not that good this year. There's uh, some bummy games. There's, a, there's well, some the game we just got done, or we 
Texas Halfway Tech one. and freaking Michigan. Guns up, bitch. Yep, Lubbock, Wait, Texas. We, Woo! When we came over, the score was eleven to eight. With like, dude, it was the lowest scoring with like half left Michigan left has half. ever had. It was bad, dude. They got their ass put. They got their ass waxed. Oh yeah, they lost by like twenty, I think. The Tennessee Purdue game was really good though. Yeah, dude. Tennessee came back from eighteen down to tie the game, and That's then they huge. shit the bed at the end. <laughs> it reminds me of that Saints game. Remember where they freaking came back, scored the the. Touchdown to tie the game with the field goal, the, the PAT, and then they and missed the PAT. Gary Anderson oh, hadn't missed like that. Yeah, year. he's the most perfect kicker of all time. Almost yeah, hasn't missed. Yeah. He was like forty one for forty one all yeah. in the and season. And then he shanked it. That's how it is, man. You freaking do all that to come back, and you just fucking blow it. Only it takes one to become the goat, <laughs> and not in a good way. Yep. Um, so brackets. Paulo yes. Didn't do one obviously. No, but I'm asking about yours. So give me some info. Um. So if I look at my bracket right now, I'm doing all right. Nothing special. Um, I'm still got all my final four teams in. Ooh, that's huge. I've got, um, I picked one game. Let's see. What games did I get right today? I got Texas Tech right. Good for you. Because that's who I picked. Mm -hmm. I got Gonzaga right. Uh, I got Virginia right. They came, they held on to beat. Yeah, I got Virginia. To beat Oregon. Oregon really played well in the tournament. Dude, little ball, huh? Fucking 12 seed making it to the Sweet 16. They lost by four. Yeah, it was uh, it looked Tech, like a yeah Texas game. Tech one. I lost. So I got that. I lost. I picked Purdue. Tennessee. I picked Tennessee, yeah. but I picked them to lose to Virginia next round, anyways. So not that big. So now I'm in second place in our little. Oh, we're tied. Yeah, you and I are tied. But for, I can still. You know what I, I like about the bracket on, on ESPN is they will show you like what you could beat your your, your possible points are still. Yeah. I like you know, that. so it gives you hope. Yeah, like, like I have a max of sixteen seventy, and Sean's got a max of sixteen thirty. Ooh, so we're tied right now. So for tomorrow's games. I have North Carolina over Auburn. Okay. I have, well, yeah, I North had Carolina. Iowa State going to, um, going to the Elite Eight, but they're not there. Ugh. Um, so that game, I have, I have no dog in that fight. I have Gonzaga versus Texas Tech, and then I have Michigan State beating LSU, and then I have Duke beating Virginia Tech. Yeah, Duke, Michigan State, and then who else? So, any okay. highlight moments in the college college t- games yet for you? Highlight moments. Anything exciting? No, I mean, is it, it to me? It's not that like big of a tournament. I mean, Maybe because I didn't do my bracket, but UC Irving or UC Irvine. Irvine. Yeah, Irvine. exactly. It was the uh, Doctor Julius Irving <laughs> University of California. They 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 pull an upset. Good for them. Yeah, they were they they, they made there a splash. There wasn't too many upsets, huh? No, no. not like big upsets. Like they're like what. Was that a couple years ago? Some of the big schools. One? Some of the yeah, big when schools. Virginia, when Virginia lost first round to a 16. Yeah. You knew about the talent coming in, even if they were like a medium or small school, like the Murray. Dude, at Murray, Murray State. He's hit JA. Is phenomenal. Yeah. He's already number two behind Zion for like getting drafted. Yeah, he, he's the projected number two overall. Oh, yeah. He's and, special. He's guys, too. Oh, dude. He's got ups. He, he, Morant. He, he, His he, last name's Morant. Um, I have Duke winning it all. I picked Duke to win it all. I'm I'm pretty sure like seventy percent of the country is picking Duke to win because yeah, our you whole, have our to, whole, even our though whole group you, well they, they they got by that last game against UCF. Dude, you see right? balled. They balled out, and you know Zion came back, got the and one, missed the free throw, got the put back by. Uh, he's just a beast. Dude. Like the games that I've seen him in, he's just insane. He's insane. He can he can out muscle you down low, but off the dribble, he is fucking nasty. Oh yeah. For a big dude, he's 6'8", 280. He should be playing tight end. Yeah, he's that big. Yeah, he's a does he make tank? He doesn't. Does he not win the ship and become a good pro, or does he win the ship and become a mediocre pro? I think he's gonna be win the ship and be a good pro. Wow, that wasn't an option. <laughs> well, I just I wasn't. It. I had to have. A, <laughs> this is the first time you've been an optimist, Sean. You went double happy. Yeah, that doesn't. You happen. think he's that good? Oh, dude, the dude's legit. Let's do see. they do they have a Heisman for college basketball? The, the Naismith, Naismith Award. Naismith uh, Award. Yeah, um, Jim no, Naismith. I've never, I never heard of it. So, how good are you? Any, any basketball highlight moments in your life, Eddie? Mm. Yeah, I fell out in eighth grade year in <laughs> under two minutes. <laughs> under two minutes, <laughs> Eddie. The worst basketball. What? How did you do seen. that? I just, I, I just sucked. <laughs> two minutes for real? I just hacked people. I just as soon as the ball would get it, I just hit him in the arm to get rid of it. And, yeah, yep. dude, fouled out in under two minutes. Are you kidding me? Solving Warriors. Oh my! How oh, many, who was your coach? I think it was Rogowski. Tom Rogowski. You didn't. How win mad game was he? Eighth grade year, did you? 
I don't know about basketball. I don't, I don't. Oh, you didn't win a game in baseball. Baseball, either. no, we we tied. That was the only thing in two years. We tied uh, Honda. The dude, the worst sports. We were at so we terrible. We kicked the shit out of you guys all the time. Yeah, we were we, stacked. I right. love how you guys solving. Your... Yeah, solving. We didn't have any. It was like me and Mario. Yeah, and uh, Bob Anderson. Yeah, Bob. But see, Bob only played baseball. Yeah, that's true. But well, so did I. Well, no, I played yeah basketball. But I, I was on the team. I didn't really play. Had a jersey. Kind of just like high school football. Sean still has his jersey. Of course he does. <laughs> no, I don't. No, you have a Solvang one, though. No, I don't have the, that anymore. You had a Solvang. Somebody stole me it from Solvang. Really? Yeah, I had it for a long time, but I don't know what happened. There's a lot of Solvang warriors out there that still rap hard. Are they, like, I, they, they, I, like, they changed their name, I think, right? They were the There's Suns, a, and they were the Vikings. And then no, they're the, the Viking, Warrior. Warrior. Oh, they Viking the, Warriors. Then, oh, okay. At least it's It's crazy how they... I've never seen an elementary school change their mascot so much. Weren't just, they almost the rainbow? Weren't they the rainbows one year or something like that? Easy, <laughs> easy. Yeah. The, the great thing about blow. Eddie in grade school <laughs> is his class did all the fundraising for the new gym they got, like the huge. Gym yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We and were, they never even got to play in it. We didn't. No. Yeah, because we were the first. We graduated. And we, that was yeah. Like that's the first your gift. The gym that, that's what it. you do. Is it's a gift, Sean, it, to the other classes. Fuck everybody else. You raised all the money for it. Yeah. Well, that's how it works, man. You know. It is. You're gonna miss gym. cool things like. I don't know who it is. It might happen, but the kids who get a new locker room when saying as changes their locker room are going to be pretty lucky because that's always been a problem, huh? Well, we're getting new lockers. Oh, that's happening this year? Yeah, we're getting new lockers. Okay. They can't change that locker room. That's no, like it, it, history. It, it was supposed to get refurbished, but it was supposed to say the exact same. Uh, like the day, like to the team. Like are all the teams still up in the. Oh, yeah. I been oh, in dude, it's, it's a fucking. It's a shrine to pirate lore. And my dad's JV pictures are or no 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 JV pictures are up there. Uh, Holy varsity one pictures. One year of varsity. Yeah. Hey, dude, that's not the year you graduated. What happened to your junior year? Oh, uh, he got real quiet. Dude, how much signing this football did he really play? I don't know. I, for, for all that, oh, I'm sorry. Don't, ask my coach because they're still him, around. Right? Well, he had Popkins. He's still. That's around, what I'm right? saying. It's like he's still like, oh, there's, there's my coach. Let him tell you about my junior year. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, your dad was a great guy. I'm like, come on, man. Let's be honest. You're just a good local guy who knows what to say under pressure. Yeah. He's a good man. Coach, tell him how good I am. Uh, yeah, you were a great water boy. Oh, man. We were tough. We put people in the ambulance. Yeah. Uh, we kicked the shit out of you guys. There was no ambulances back then. There were like horses and carriages. <laughs> the stretcher was two poles and a fucking sheet. <laughs> Dude, everyone had fucking like breathing salts and freaking... Like, salt tablets. Yeah, everything say, like the only thing that you, people took for like there's no Gatorade or water. It was just salt items. Yeah, they just <laughs> they they had water and then they took a, a cube of salt and that was how they were supposed to rehydrate. Yeah. Bear Bryant is still your dad's favorite coach and like oh he's a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, huh? Yeah, he's a Steeler fan. That's fucking funny. Which I don't know where that came from cuz <laughs> growing up he never cheered for them. Yeah. Until ever. like a few years ago. It took time for him to finally decide. Yeah. Like, like you can't you can't get him like he no NFL gear. Yeah, because, well, kind of like Sean, you never know who he's going to be rooting for. Whoa, Ooh, Ben Mayo. Wagner. Ooh, you jumping on any bandwagons for the tournament, Eddie? Which tournament? Um, the tournament that's going on right now, the NC2A basketball tournament. Well, I picked Duke, so I got to go with Duke. Just so you know, I always I always pick Duke. It's How many times have you picked Duke in, in a bracket? You always do it? Uh, I'm going to say probably eight out of Eddie, times. Eight, yeah. Yeah. It's Duke or North Carolina. And all right, then, so what's your what's pick, the no, best Duke Kentucky moment of all time? Is it the Christian Leitner to Grant Hill? I think, second it, shot? I think you have to say that's that. an iconic moment. His thirty. Who's your favorite? So great, who's though? your favorite Duke player? Oof, it's tough. Who's the best that player out of Duke <laughs> of all time? There's so many in the oh, NBA. Oh. Whoa, did I? Oh, that's the freaking head headphones. You're good. Uh, Best Duke player of all time. That's tough. So let's see who's from Duke. Let's go down the list. Like recent right now, we have like Kyrie. You have freaking Christian Leitner. You have Grant Hill. That's the only guys <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> you have Bobby Hurley. Jay Williams. Oh, yeah. Jay, oh, yeah. He's freaking Jay Will- They're all commentators who like, couldn't make uh, it in the pros. Jay I like Billis. Jay Williams. Jay Billis. Jay, Jay Billis, yeah. You know, there's a lot. But uh, Duke. 
What about North Carolina? If you had to pick one between, like, if North I Carolina had picked, always had better gear. Like, I always like Tar Heels. They always had better dunkers. And dunkers, yes. Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace. Oh, Vince what are you talking about? Vince Carter, yeah, exactly. I mean, and they were Mike all the same Jordan. Team. And they were all on the same team. They were Mike, all on the same team? Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I that year. That was a stacked was year. Fucking stacked. stacked year. What, that was pre Roy Williams? Yeah, that, so, was, yeah. Dean that was Dean, Dean Smith. That was Dean Smith. Just um, killing a mosquito, sorry. But yeah, dude, Jerry Stackhouse used to throw it down. Oh yeah, that's insanity. when college basketball was like corrupt and awesome. Oh dude, people were getting fucking posterized, dude. You know what I mean? Now it's like, oh, that's a foul. Oh, blow the whistle. Because that was before they figured out, like, hey, like you could still go from high school, but it was like it was risky because like high school kids weren't always making it, and they'd yeah. miss out on money. You know, only a handful really got to do it, so it was still kind of like a risky thing. Now it's a little different. You know what I mean? They well, know yeah. they're going to make money. They get insurance policies before they're even in the pros. You know. Well, what was the thing with that Zion kid? He he, he has, got hurt, and then he, they were like, oh, he's got yeah, his he had le- like a five million dollar on his legs, on his legs. Oh, does he? Oh, mm-hmm. oh yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. It's pretty. Yeah, it's they they, they look after themselves. They're already worth money. Yeah, he's just, in college, he just got to do his one year, and then well, does go Shaq, pro. Shaq got rich in college, playing in college? Everybody knows. That. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> like people don't mention like Basically. Christian Leitner, like in the thirty for thirty, he used to get owned. Uh, he used to own Shaq. In in college days, and that's how good Duke was. Yeah, shoot, that was a good because Shaq was pretty solid. I don't know who was around Shaq at LSU. Well, he didn't need much. No. I was gonna say he was the only player on their team that did anything. Right. Who's the best tournament players you remember? Like moments, uh, moments. Do you remember Bryce Drew from Valparaiso? Yeah, hitting that, that was last with, uh, with his, the old UCLA coach. It oh, was my, his dad. Probably, probably my favorite favorite tournament moment is watching. Uh, when UCLA made their run with the O'Bannon, oh, the, O'Bannon the brother brothers. twins. Oh yeah, uh, what's his name? Tyus Edison. No, what the fuck? Little point guard. He was good. That mm-hmm. was a good ass tournament. Yeah, I always liked the UConn years with like uh, Rip Hamilton and freaking uh, who else? Uh, Elamine. I've brought that up a couple of times. I like or, those teams. Um, they had uh, 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 Hakeem the beat. Oh yeah. Or no, dude, do you remember UMass used to be really good when they had Marcus Camby? Camby, that was well that you know who the coach was? Calipari was. Yeah. The guy from Kentucky, he's Kentucky, Kentucky right? Yeah. yeah. They they didn't make how are they kind of the kind of falling off is what they were, you know. Yeah. There's not the one in Dunskill anymore. Yeah. Uh, Kentucky, know? yeah. That kinda ended a few years back, huh? Well, but still, like they, they still had like, you know, some good starters come out of there and they made a ser- they every year they made serious runs at the tournament. Mm. You know. I I like the underdog. Like the team that nobody's ever heard of, that dude when Butler, makes, when, yeah, Butler, when yeah, like Butler was making their push. Well, that oh. that coach, that coach is the Celtics coach now, yeah. right? Or yeah. Pacers? Uh, no, Brad Stevens, yeah, Celtics mm-hmm. head coach. Dude, he put he put that program on the map, and now he's one of the best coaches in the NBA. Oh yeah, well, and look at the team from the last couple of years too. Um, from Philly, what's the name? V- Villaparosa. No, it's not Valparaiso. Villanova. Villanova. That's you see. I think well, I got Villanova's confused. Villanova's always been there. Yeah, I've they've been, been there, but they not like they have been. No, I mean, this is the like best they run they've been on. Well, no, they were. On the Who team. was the team last year with the nun? Was that Mary? That was um, Saint Mary, Mothers of UMC. Joseph. There you go. No, they were like that. They were like this one out here from. Uh, remember the guy who died? Oh, uh, Hank Gathers. Yeah, what school did you go to? Loyal Marymount. It was. They were Loyola too. Uh, yeah. Right. They were Loyola too. That's how I remember them. And then the, U- the Florida Atlantic, or yeah, Florida Gulf Coast. There you go. Yeah, that was a good run. Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, yeah. that was that was fun watching them. Georgia State. Yeah, yeah, I like those teams. That like, yeah, they 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 get in there. It's like holy shit, they made it to like, the finals. Yeah, like uh, school. Is that... Murray still in it? They lost. That kid lost. Who? Murray. Murray. Murray State. Oh no, they lost to Florida State. Right. That Florida State just yeah, lost to. And they just right. lost tonight. Yeah. No, but you know who uh, you know, and I hate you know not bringing up the Warriors, but it was it was an iconic moment when Steph Curry was in the NIT and then the and then the uh, national tournament those two years, he made like a presence. You know, do you remember those? I don't with Davidson. Know. Oh, dude, because like you watch the NIT game, you watch you watch Nobody NIT watches games. The NIT. You watch a game a not week in tournament, and uh, that's what it stands but for. But right? you watch <laughs> <laughs> not in not in the tournament, not in tournament. tournament. You would think that, right? But no, like you, but you remember seeing Steph Curry mm-hmm. at Davidson. Yeah, you know, it was one of those things that you 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 remember, and dude, it just brought this whole new. Who would think that that would transition to championships in the NBA? Well, a lot of things with these smaller schools, 
is they'll have multiple starting seniors with three plus years of experience. Oh yeah, starting, yeah. and then true. they'll have like a killer freshman. Yeah, and then you know that makes them a uh, force to be reckoned with because yeah, they're going up against these guys that are all freshmen and just haven't played a lot together. They'll be like, hey, this is the one black guy on our team who's going to help us a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for three years. And that's, yeah, I was telling you too, huh, before, Sean, I'm like, college, you know what's awesome about college basketball? You get to see like white guys with good fundamentals play hard basketball. Yeah. You're like, great layup, Jimmy. <laughs> he dribbled with his left hand. Oh, you see that left-handed layup? It's like, I oh, jump stop. <laughs> I was watching. I saw, I was looking on uh, Instagram the other day and it was pretty funny. It showed some Oh, I mean, old basketball footage where guys didn't jump shoot; they just kind of pushed it up. And oh, dude! Like it was just terrible. Was it Hickory, Indiana basketball? The guys, the the meme was like, I if I played back then, I'd make I'd be looking like Kyrie Irving and this and that <laughs> against these fucking suckers, dude. It was, it was bad. Like, I wonder how bad the ball was though, too. Like those balls were like bad leather, just oh, blown like, up. Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. You know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, it they was, didn't have much to work with. No. Yeah, like the they didn't have technology and stuff. They didn't have any fucking talent either. Yeah. So let's just put it out. They didn't there. have Adidas Boost. They fucking and dribble. Nike Combat. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't have freaking dry wicking materials. They freaking had like they potato even sacks. Touch the rim. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was a peach basket, bro. Yeah, pretty of much. Of course, yeah. Freaking Jim Naismith. <laughs> Anyways, you sure? Old, got what? I don't know. Where I don't. You, know, you guys are all freezing on me, Eddie. You focus up, okay, buddy. Oh, I was looking at the posters. Yeah, I'm sure you weren't. I know, you, Eddie. This is Eddie's. I've never, sec- Eddie's never I've been, never been, been in, the in the dungeon. In the garage. All right. So That's before scary. we end the show today, let's let's talk a little bit. And I still got dude, stuff. Look, look at the time, dude. We're yeah, about take twenty deep. minutes off of it. But still, we're still rolling deep. Okay. Um, Ooh, Eddie's Eddie. gonna work in the morning. Oh, I I appreciate him coming through. Do you have a? Let's see. Do you have a? Uh, no, you don't have anything. Anything you want to talk about? Me? No. Let's talk about opening day baseball. Ooh. Mm, Paul okay. doesn't like baseball. No, I don't. Who Why said not? that? I never said that. Why? Because I like baseball. I'm getting into it more and more. You, you know, like I, the Oakland well, Athletics and the Giants. I'll take them both. The area. Yeah. There's what? some ballers on both teams. The A's won today, four nothing. They beat the Angels. Angels. Oh, line boom. Is terrible. Their pitching staff. Sucks. I like it when the Bay beats an LA Good team. Good thing they gave that guy like what ten dollars. Yeah. Guess, mm-hmm. guess, guess, guess what the A's spent. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about freaking Mike contrasting. Trout ha- Mike Trout has more payroll than the, the whole I, I, Oakland A's organization. Add up what the, the the starting nine lineup for the A's today make. I guarantee Bryce Harper. That's at least you got to think almost all of it, right? They uh, got to cover. I'm sure. It. Bri- I'm, sure Bryce, the one- I'm sure Bryce Harper's three hundred thirty million dollar deal is more than half of the entire payroll of the Oakland A's. Isn't that insane? Does Oakland even have any like stars? Chris Davis. Oh, he's still on and the Trout, team. So Trout completely murders left. it then, because he's just what? How many? How many what? How many more million a years? The difference they're making between the two of them? Because I know Trout's one's... getting four hundred and thirty million, a whole hundred million yeah. more. But that's for two more years, right? Uh, or four more years? It was a thir- no. Mike Trout signed for twelve. Bryce so Harper two more. Thir- ten signed for thirteen. Oh, I think. I thought there was a ten know. in Either there. Way, I thought there was a ten. Who cares? It's a lot of money. Anyway, so the A's won, not cost what, savings. What the, cost savings. What about the Giants? The Giants lost to the Padres, two to nothing. Yeah, Padres, Padres in first place. Madison Bumgarner uh, threw a gem, but got no run support. Uh, Get used to it. I was gonna say that's not every game, dude. He, the I guy like hits him. home runs though. He hits bombs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for pitcher, he hits bombs. He it's always fun to see a pitcher fucking have some fucking swing into the bat skills. Is Lincecum still isn't playing? Is he? No, he hasn't played for years, dude. Um, he fucking he was, he was so a bleep. Good, he was a bleep. He was so good. For he that only short had amount of time. He, oh, he he was he the won man. A ring. Yeah, he won a couple rings, and he won Cy Youngs. Mm-hmm. You know, he's two times Cy Young and award then winner. He couldn't well, throw fastballs. And who then was the other just, guy, Matt Cain. You had Zito. Yeah, you had Romo. You had Brian Williams. That was a good. Oh yeah, dude, and they were crazy. The fear of the beard. He was the first fear of the beard. Brian Wilson. Yeah. Wilson. Oh, that, I said yeah. Williams. Yeah, that was. He kind of fell off the face there. They all fell off because they did at the time. It was just. They were all being used correctly. You know, you re, the whole lineup, Uribe, Sandoval, all the dudes were just freaking, it was a party, and they were good, and they were trying. Good times. Well, they won, like, every other year, right? There yeah, was, the, like, the every odd roll happened. Yeah. 
Good era. For the, so those are my squads. For the Dodger fans, the Dodgers came out and kicked the shit out of the Diamondbacks today. Yeah, so Boom. it was like, what, 11 to 4? Who do we follow this year? Let's pick some players. Who do I follow? His yes. Entire it, fantasy baseball team. It's on my hat. You, I know you follow the Yankees. I said a player, Sean. Uh, a player? Let's yes. See. Who, who, like, we had Manny Wood. That he's we, now we, in San Diego. He's in San Diego. So he, he Manny, Manny, Manny yeah, guess what? Spending money helped out the San Diego Padres and not the Angels this, this week. That's true. Um, they are in first. I'm going to a Padre game at the end. Of, at the Ooh, end of April. who are they playing? The Mariners. Ooh, Tony and Tony and the Meads won a, a box thing at an auction one time. Oh, that's cool for like twelve people, and we're gonna go to a game. How convenient! Oh, we're uh, gonna take the train down, and oh, that's gonna take forever. It's all right. It's a night game. Wait. Okay, we're that's cool. Petco luxury box. Nice. It's gonna be fun. And you take the train back that day or in the morning? Probably the next day. Their stadium's like right in the middle of town, right? Yeah. Gas Petco, Petco's cool, dude. If you That's ever awesome. Go to, if you ever go to a game and say, like, you want to check it out in San Diego, fuck Petco's dope. Maybe I'll see Lencho. Oh, Ooh. he works there. I forgot. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to go to a couple. Of, well, you know how Matt and Cindy have season tickets. I'm going yeah, to try to. Yeah, they should, you know. Try to go in the middle of the week so it's not so bad. Go to a game, guys. Last time I went, it took like four hours to get Baseball to the freaking parking lot. Yeah, I haven't been to a baseball early. game gotta, in a while. You gotta leave early. God, you gotta I, leave it like the se- after the seventh. And I hate people dealing with mass crowds. I'm oh, dude, like, tell oh, me you're the worst, Eddie. You it's get the Eddie's worst. the worst. I it's not bad. We, you could say it's the worst, but Eddie takes. I've never seen anyone I hate, hate crowds as much. As it. Get used to it, huh? I think I might go to a Dodger game June first. Oh, I'm gonna try to go to Giants games. I hate y'all. Go ahead, go to Giants games. Uh huh. Dude, AT and T's awesome, bro. You like that part. You love that park. No, I don't love that park. Mm-hmm. Why, why do I love that park? Because we had a good time there. Yeah. We watching, did have a great watching time Watching there. football. That was, and, dude, like, it was so horrible. I mean, it was great being that low, but you could not see over the oh, entire Oh, me and Paul were up in the nosebleeds. We're, we're having you? a party. Yeah, we yeah. had to go sit with the UCLA. You two guys were on the freaking sideline being on, on, the, on the camera. On me, the, and, mo- me and Paul were way up I in the middle of nowhere. You guys were dude, up there. You know when you watch those movies and there's people in the way back stadium just having way too good of a time? That was us. That was because of us. You guys made the Jumbotron, didn't you? No, you guys made the Jumbotron. Oh, I thought you guys were on well, TV. Yeah. I did the A-clap. Up in section Z. As they're getting the shit kicked out. 13. <laughs> I, dude, it was... We're watching I, the fogs rolling in over the top of us. We were so fucking high up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Oh, well, like, hey, guess, the, guess what we're going to do, guys? What was that restaurant the A-clap. Uh, Momos. Momos. Momos? Yeah, Ooh. Momos. We freaking got... That was... Hammered. I don't know what, what, what it was about me, but remember people gave me... Dude. Some guy gave me all the stickers and all the buttons that said BFSU. We just got drinks handed And then someone the gave me a tray of shots yeah. and said, hand these out. Okay, to us. Yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> hold we on. We drank like four shots each. Yeah, we tray. killed some shots. And then I was like, hey, guys, let's party. Dude, there was, it was pretty. Dude. It was a lot of fun. Eddie had his gula. Yeah. Yeah, everyone had UCLA on and he had gula on. It like was, it's an it, imitation shit. It was his we big, got five big five five, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It was the closest thing I could find. <laughs> it worked. It was a good drive, too. You guys stayed at the pad. It and was then, fun. It was good times. Good times. But uh, it was a good time today with Eddie Pena. Yeah. Appreciate you. This was probably, this is the the realest conversation we've had for on one of our podcast. episodes. Yeah, this is just good friends hanging out. Thanks for coming, Eddie. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, this is another episode of Hold My Whistle. I'm Paulo. I'm Foy. Go ahead and sign out, buddy. Oh, I can say, and this is Eddie or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Sure, good enough. <laughs> sure. And my fake laugh. <laughs> no, I, that's tally number two. <laughs> tally it, number though. two. Yeah, Only two times this episode. Was, it was it was way more than I that. hope so. Okay, that was Paul, a horrible job. Hit the fucking music. We out. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Let me know. Girl, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And we start real slow. You just put your lips together. Can you blow?